Hi, I'm Jason Van Genderen. I'm known as the Pocket Filmmaker and I've compiled today these six pocket filmmaking tips to help you shoot better quality movies uh, at home with nothing more than your mobile phone. Now to start with tip number one is actually a really common mistake a lot of people do when they're filming with their mobile phones and that is screen orientation. So when you're actually shooting your video, if you hold your camera this way, the chances are you'll be shooting video in portrait mode, which means when you put it on your computer or on your TV screen, you get those big black bars by the side of your picture and your picture is very long, tall and skinny. So remember to turn your camera around to a landscape format and make sure you shoot your, your video in the same aspect as the screen in which you're going to watch it on. Okay, now if you've got really, really shaky hands when you're holding one of these, these camera devices to film with, you're not alone. Lots of people do. So tip number two is just for you. When you're holding the camera, remember, screen orientation, landscape. Most people tend to hold it away from their body like this, like it's a foreign object, and they try and hold it way away just to see the screen. And what happens is your arm ends up acting like a massive lever. So any vibration that goes along your, your arm is picked up by the phone and it's accentuated, okay? So tip number two is really, really simple, and that is just keep your camera closer to your body. If you, if you bring your arms back in like this and tuck your elbows into your body, it's a far more steady picture. And if in doubt, use both hands to steady the shot. Okay, now tip number three, a really, really simple one, and that is ban the zoom. If it's one function I could ban on all mobile phone cameras, it would be the digital zoom. Now keep in mind when people use a digital zoom, it doesn't matter whether you've got a two times zoom or a six times or an eight times digital zoom, they're not optical. So they're not using the glass and the lens to enlarge the picture. They're actually utilizing the pixels that you're capturing the picture with and just enlarging those. So the picture quality is no better. In fact, it's worse. So if you're gonna zoom in on something, Use your body, use your camera, move into the object. If I'm gonna film this particular camera, I'm gonna move into the camera like this and then move back again to show it. It's a far more interesting shot and your audience will thank you for it. And tip number four is to vary your shots. Now believe it or not, it's really a common mistake people make when they stand there and they're filming Christmas at home or the holidays or something like that and that is you just stand there in the one spot like you're a tree rooted to the ground and you just stand there and you film and you film and you film and you might be filming for a couple of minutes and it's okay while well, you're actually capturing the action you've got everything else happening in the background but as soon as you take that film home and you try to show other people they'll just find standing there in that one position for four or five minutes is way too long and really really boring so when I say vary the shots go and show a wide shot so stand back and film the whole scene that you're trying to capture and then go in and show individual things within the scene. So, um, for instance, if you're filming the unwrapping at, at Christmas time of all the presents, stand back in the room, show all the family gathered around the tree, show them ripping the paper off, nice big wide scene, and then come in really nice and tight and film hands on presents, ripping off paper or ribbons or sticky tape. Um, then, you know, pull the camera up and look at someone's expression when they've just opened up something. Um, then someone else's reaction to that. And maybe it's a toy that's unwrapped on the floor that's being played with. So think about all the little things within the scene as well as the big picture and make sure you try and show all of those things together, not just the one boring steady shot. Okay, now tip number five is to keep talking. Now when I say keep talking, if you're filming a video yourself, particularly if you're family at Christmas time, um, you're in a perfect position to be able to narrate um, so you know when you, when you often film a, a video clip and you play it back to family afterwards on the television or on the computer and there's nothing being spoken and so you, you feel like you need to narrate over the top of it as you're watching the, the video back. Now you can imagine every time you play it having to do that it gets pretty tiresome. So the great thing to do is to save yourself the energy. When you're filming and you're filming a scene in front of you, you're only you know, 10, 15 centimeters away from the actual camera. So start talking, talk over the top of what you're recording and give people a bit of a sense of the place and what's going on for all time's sake. So whenever you play this clip back, you're gonna hear your story told exactly the same way at that moment as you're recording it. It's a really, really simple tip and it works really, really well. Now my final tip for creating fantastic little home movies this Christmas is for those that have got a fear of editing. Okay. Now, editing is a bit of a craft, so not everybody's got the skills or the want to be able to do uh, an edit job on their particular home video. So there's two ways you can approach it. Now, the first way you could do it is to just record what we call a one-shot wonder, which is let's try and record the whole scene or the whole activity that you're trying to capture in the one shot. And that will work if you remember those two other tips I just spoke about, which is vary your shot size. So show the big scene, then come in and show smaller things within the scene as well. 
And the other thing to do then is to narrate, narrate over the top of it. So remember to keep talking and explaining the action and what's going on. For those that are a little bit more adventurous, um, if you're filming on a device like an iPhone, there's, there's literally hundreds and hundreds of video editing apps that you can now get, some which are for free. Um, to download which will allow you to combine um, the video that you've shot and some still photos as well and even some music and put together a really really simple edited um, film clip. Now one of these apps that's uh, really really cracking and, and very popular out there is called Videolicious. So I'll uh, put that up on the bottom of the screen at the moment. Videolicious allows you to go exactly through your video clips and your photos, select which ones you want to use. You can select a template or a theme for the edit um, and it allows you to choose some music from your iTunes library as well to, to compile with the clip. And you just press a button within like two minutes you've rendered out a, a, an edited video clip which is really cool. So two things to keep in mind. One is the one shot wonder. If you want to try and film something all in the one, vary your shot size and narrate over the top of your video as, you, as you've, you're recording. And the second thing, if you want to be a bit adventurous, try Videolicious. Um, it's a fantastic little app for the iPhone. Um, you'll have heaps of fun with it. That's it for me. That's my top six tips for helping you get a cracking home movie together this Christmas. Um, now remember, you can follow my blog uh, to uh, keep in touch with all the latest things with pocket filmmaking. Or else, if you're interested in anything like these little groovy lenses that I use, these magnetic lenses to attach to the, the front of your phone um, to give you different sorts of shot sizes and all these kooky different covers and things I've got, um, you can jump into my online store, pocketfilmmaker.com.au, and you can get those easily through there. Have a fantastic Christmas, enjoy your filmmaking, get out your phone, remember these six tips and you'll have some awesome Christmas videos to remember for a long, long time.